Whoa, <laughs> man, I'm on your side. I'm sorry you startled me. Oh, don't be sorry. It's just the next time I'll yell for you from five feet away instead of tapping you on the shoulder. <laughs> That's all right. What's up? I'd like to talk to you if you have a second. Sure. Ashley tells me you quit the police force. I did. And what made you do that exactly? Well, I... I, I mean, if you don't mind my uh, asking. It's not like it's some big secret or something. Um, truth of the matter is, I want to be with your niece. And I haven't forgotten how hard it's been since we parted ways. After college? Yeah. I don't want to do that again. I see. It's like having her in my life again is, is an opportunity. It's like I get a second chance to be, be with, with the girl you love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, Carl, I'm proud of you. And you know, I think it's admirable that you gave up something that you love for, well, someone you love. And you know, there's a saying that uh, if you love something and you give it up, let it go, if it comes back, it's yours forever. That's true. And I don't know if there's a saying for loving something and letting it go twice. But perhaps you shouldn't find out, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on. I'm having a fabulous dinner cooked for you tonight. And rest assured, uh, I don't think a gunfight will break out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, if it does, rest assured, I can't arrest anybody. Well, I know that's, that's true. <laughs> Amanda! Yes, Carrie? Amanda, look, I, I wanted to know if we could push the politician second. No, that was part of the deal. He agreed to come in today as long as I put him on first. Well, he's been in the dressing room a long time. <laughs> I think we're ready to go. <laughs> well, that's the way it is with politicians. It's all about public perception. You know, they want to look good for the public, just like us. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Could you put a little on the top of my head? I don't want the lights beaming off it like a mirror. Da -da -da! Careful! Very sensitive scalp. Couldn't we just bring out the guy who thinks he can read minds of puppets? I mean, maybe by that time that Elmo guy just might be ready. <laughs> His name is Elmer, and we don't need to bring someone else on because he's about to walk through the door. Amanda? Yes. Ooh, that really wears me out when you do that. <laughs> okay, people, let's get rolling. <laughs> Elmo, get on the set. It's Elmer. Thanks for coming, Elmer. My pleasure, Miss Walsh. Amanda, please call me Amanda. Oh, good, Amanda. Now, before we get started, I just want to set just a few ground rules. Not to worry, Elmer. I won't ask you any questions that'll tarnish the mayor's office. And I won't second-guess your ability to know what's going on in the Metroplex. And I won't say anything about that bachelor party you were at last night. <laughs> oh, I sense that you don't doubt my abilities as much now. That's good. It'll make for a better show. For me, anyway. Alrighty. Amanda, Elmer, stand by. Folks, we're gonna come out on camera one. Elmer, I will point to you when to look at camera two. Are you close enough? Alrighty, folks, we are rolling in three, two, one, and... Welcome to this edition of New Visions. I'm your visionary host, Amanda Walsh, and we have a great show for you today. So, let's dive right in. As you know, I've been commenting a lot lately on a recent drug case. The local police have been doing a great job cracking down on one of the largest rings in recent history. And earlier this month, they announced that they had killed the ringleader, who for years was only known as the leech. This is because he was a man who was sucking money out of society and putting it into his drug business. As many of you know, I have been making headlines recently by suggesting that I do not think the leech is dead after all. So with me today is Elmer Rosenberry from the mayor's office, and he's here to set me straight. Thank you for being here, Elmer. It's nice to have you as well. So why don't you start off by telling us how it is that we know the leech is dead and gone? 
Elmer? Uh, I was just watching. There was no lap dance. Um, the leech. Oh! <laughs> the leech, yes, right. Uh, he's, uh, dead. And you know this because? Well, uh, we saw it. You saw what? Uh, well, the leech, we saw the, the police, the, the police department. See, we, we recognized him from before, uh, from, the, from the other bust. Uh, but we finally got him at home. Hmm. Well, you knew him for years by his nickname. Are you sure that he is the leech? Well, uh, yeah, I mean... And uh, this I drug can't... ring is still in existence, isn't it? Well, it has the... I sense that you think it is still in existence. Look, no, we know what we're doing. I, I said that we've killed him. That's it. He's dead. <laughs> I don't think you're so sure, Elmer. No, I mean, because see, you got to mm, understand. I sense that, that you think it is still in existence. You, no, you're, stop it. You're you're doing the the tele telepath thing. The you know telepathy. <laughs> I have never claimed to have telepathy, Elmer. Well, whatever it is that you're doing, Miss Walsh, just stop it. You know. You're going to incite a lot of fear into the people around here. Now, I think this show is just a little one-sided. And everything that she said about me, not true. Elmer, our promos for this particular show said that you are a powerful and respected public servant. Except that. We'll be right back with Fozzie Bernard, a man who can read the minds of puppets. You know, some people prefer that, but um, you're a steak and potatoes guy, right? Oh, I can be. Good man. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> I got everything laid out for you, Uncle Horace. Fantastic. Come here. <laughs> hey, I got the best investment expert in the country helping her old uncle open up some more restaurants. Ooh. Well, hey, you guys go ahead and have fun with that, all right? Hey, wait a minute. You're leaving? Yeah, I got to go uh, meet Stingray for lunch. Oh, your old partner. Yeah. Yeah, so where are you guys meeting? Well, there's this place called The Sandwich Shop. Great place. Say, be sure to let him know. Great job taking out that big time drug hoodlum. The city owes him big time for that one. All right, I will. All right. Call me when you get back in. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, and we'll go ahead and get started on that dinner, so don't eat too much. All right, I won't. <laughs> okay. See ya. All right. Ashley. Um, I need to make a phone call. Why don't you go ahead and um, I'll join you in a second, okay? You're not going to call Aunt Janice, are you? Because I'm not going to wait all day for you to get off the phone. No, no, this won't take long. Okay. I'll join you in a second. Yeah, it's me. Is she ready? I want her on the move now. Now. The sandwich shop. Right. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Hey, Carl. Sting. So, she let you out of the house, did she? What? Your girl, she let you out? <laughs> yeah, she did. So, I guess you're still not happy about my leaving, are you? Well, I don't know, Carl. I, maybe I just didn't get a chance to get to know you well enough, but it seems to me that, well, it, that you were passionate about law enforcement. I am. I was. Well, people usually don't quit things that they're passionate about. I agree. Thanks. And that's why I'm glad I got a second chance. What? I am passionate about Ashley's thing. I walked away from her and that decision has been killing me ever since. No, you never said anything to me about it. You never said a word. That's why none of this makes any sense to me. Well, I guess you're right. Maybe you didn't get a chance to know me well enough. Well, I guess not. Hello, gentlemen. I'm sorry.
sorry to bother you. Have you seen any keys? Keys? Yeah, I left my key. Where, you know, where were you sitting when you left? I can help you find those, miss. Yeah, did you say they were uh, over here somewhere? You're sitting at this table? Let's see, I think I can... Uh... They might cut them. She might have kicked them under the side of the table. Hey, where'd she go? I guess she found her keys, huh? Hey, your girl. She's not weird like that one, is she? No. Good. No! A minute, I know you. No. You're that crazy chick who's been saying that the leech isn't no. dead. You know how much crap I gotta take from the guys at the station no, because that, of that? No, uh, that woman. Look, that... I really wish you'd stop it with the psychic club. Sting, no, wait. Look, look, you said something's been poisoned? That woman that was here, she did it when you weren't looking. What, the, what woman? The woman with the car keys? I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, see, this is sad. She's on something. No. She thinks that she could use her powers to read the water's mind, you no. see, and no? No. No, that's you, not you, it? Uh, oh, I know. The leech, who isn't dead yet, by the way, no. told her it was poison. Isn't was... that right, Miss Walsh? No, it was... it was her! Better stay down. Now, I'm not being paid to kill you. But if you make one move, I can take you out of your misery with one little stroke of my foot. If you want to live, you better stay down. Understand? Understand? ran into her right before she was planning to kill Stingray and uh, when we made contact I uh, sensed the evil or I guess I should say uh, evil intentions so I followed her so all you have to do is touch someone now, now let me get this straight all you have to do is make contact and you can tell if someone's gonna do something bad Right. This is too cool. <laughs> yeah, well, if she could sense the evil in this woman, perhaps she can explain why she decided to run after her. Well, because nobody believed me, and I wasn't afraid of her anyway. So all you have to do is touch someone and you can sense things. Yes. They're not always 100% accurate, but I do have psychic abilities. We'll see how psychic she is when those lab tests on the water come back. I take it you don't believe in her. No. Why not? Because all she's done is... <laughs> <laughs> because, Chief, right before you walked in here, he was attempting to use his charms on me. What? <laughs> 
when he helped me back on my feet in the alley, I, uh, we made contact and, uh, well, I sensed some of the pickup lines he was planning to use on me. So, uh, when he did use them, I, uh, shot him down. And mainly because he, uh, uses them on a lot of women. I don't think he's used to such a strong woman not falling oh, for now it. Now, wait a minute, Miss Wall. <laughs> After about the eighth one, he gave up. And I know he gave up because he had about 150 more he could have used that he's used successfully on other women to make them melt in his arms. So I guess I got off easy. <laughs> yeah, none of this is funny, Chief. The laboratory is going to prove that all of this is nonsense, and then I can start focusing in on catching the assassin. <laughs> I don't know, Stingray. I don't know that she'll fall for your pickup lines either. Chief Hudson. Yeah. Is that so? Thank you. The water was poison. If you'd have taken one sip, you'd have been dead in seconds. And it would look like a heart attack. Well, so, what am I thinking about now? 